Quran perfectly preserved, uncorrupted and complete? Probably not. Muslims say that it must be complete because the Quran says that it is complete. That is circular reasoning. Also, one of the missing verses might have abrogated that statement. Here's what happened. The Quran was revealed to Muhammad, who was illiterate, over a period of 23 years. Being illiterate, perhaps he didn't realize that writing it down is the best way to preserve a text, so he never commanded that the Quran be written down. This is really strange because he was aware of the Torah and the Bible and referred to the people of the book. So why didn't he make a book out of the Quran? Then he died. And you can imagine the effect that that must have had. The Apostle of Allah, dead. What will we do now? In the confusion at the time, a sheep ate a couple of the Quran verses. And they were important verses about stoning and breastfeeding. The breastfeeding verses are important because they established the adult as a relative of the woman, which is a way to get around the problem of not being a relative. But then another verse said that five was enough. Muslims claim that this didn't happen. Fair enough, it does sound a bit unlikely. On the other hand, Verses about stoning do seem to be missing from the Quran. However, to continue, Muhammad would hear the chapters of the Quran from Gabriel, who got them from Allah, except that time that Satan impersonated Gabriel and Muhammad didn't notice until later. These were known as the Satanic verses. And was that the only time that happened? I'm not sure how we know that, because there's some verses in the Quran that look like they came straight from Satan. When Muhammad died, parts of the Quran in writing were scattered amongst Muhammad's companions, and parts of it weren't in writing and were only memorized. In December 632, Caliph Abu Bakr sent out his forces to combat Musaylima, a false prophet, at the Battle of Yamana, and among them were many of the men who had memorized parts of the Quran. But so many of them got killed that Abu Bakr realized that there was a problem, so he ordered that the Quran be compiled into a book. Zaid ibn Thabit was given the job of collecting all the palm leaf stalks white stones, and every other possible source, including the memories of men. And at least one verse was only known to one person. Did he get it all? Good question. So, at that point, was the Quran incomplete? Then we come to Uthman's Caliphate. Islam had reached Iraq, Syria, Egypt and Iran speaking many different languages with many people not well learned in Arabic. And by now, many of the Muslims who had memorized the Quran were being lost in battle. So Uthman commanded that all the manuscripts of the Quran existing at that time be sent to him and told his scribes to make perfect copies. And then he ordered that all variant copies of the Quran be destroyed. Which means that at that point, there were variant copies. Let's see what the Islamic sources say. And I'll start off with something very simple. How many verses are there? The currently accepted number is 6236, although some people think it's 6666. Alama Jaluluddin Suyuti has recorded a tradition from Ibn Abbas wherein he says Tafsir al-Itkan fi ulum al-Quran, volume 1, page 84. The number of verses in the Quran are 6616. Alama Jalaluddin Suyuti, while citing Sully's scholarly opinion from Sunni scholar 
Uthman bin Said bin Uthman Abu Amru al Dhani, who wrote Al Itkan fi Ulum al Quran, volume 1, page 84, al Dhani said, They agreed that the number of verses of Quran are 6,000, but they disagreed in what has been added further to the Quran. Some of them didn't add more, while others said it was 204. Some said 214, others said 219, some said 225, others said 236. Tafsir ibn Kathir, the total number of verses in the Quran are 6,000. Disagreement remains about the remainder verses. There are various views and statements about them. One statement is that there are 6204 verses. Ibn Abbas 6616, Nafi 6217, Shaiba 6214, Scholars of Egypt 6226, Zamashari, the genius, eloquent scholar of the Arabic language and literature, 6666. Badiyuz Zaman Mujadid, the reformer of the 13th century, also have the opinion of 6666 verses. So, we don't even know how many verses there should be. Now let's hear about verses that have been lost. It is reported from Ismail ibn Ibrahim, from Ayyub, from Nafi, from Ibn Umar, who said, Let none of you say, I have acquired the whole of the Quran. How does he know what all of it is, when much of the Quran has disappeared? Rather, let him say, I have acquired what has survived. As Suyuti al Itkan fi Ulum al Quran, page 524. Umar was once looking for the text of a specific verse of the Quran he vaguely remembered. To his deep sorrow, he discovered that the only person who had any record of that verse had been killed in the Battle of Yamama and that the verse was consequently lost. Ibn Abi Daud, Kitab al Masahif. Zuhri reports We have heard that many Quran passages were revealed, but that those who had memorized them fell in the Yamama fighting. Those passages had not been written down, and following the deaths of those who knew them were no longer known. Nor had Abu Bakr, nor Umar, nor Uthman as yet collected the texts of the Quran. Ibn Abi Dawud, Kitab al Masahif, many of the passages of the Quran that were sent down were known by those who died on the day of Yamama, but they were not known by those who survived them, nor were they written down, nor had Abu Bakr, Umar, or Uthman by that time collected the Quran nor were they found with even one person after them. Sahih al-Bukhari 5005 Umar said, Ubayi was the best of us in the recitation of the Quran, yet we leave some of what he recites. Ubayi says, I have taken it from the mouth of Allah's Messenger and will not leave it for anything whatever. Sahih Muslim 2286 Abu Musa al-Ash'ari sent for the reciters of Basra. They came to him and they were 300 in number. They recited the Quran and he said, You are the best among the inhabitants of Basra, for you are the reciters among them. So continue to recite it. But Bear in mind that your reciting for a long time may not harden your hearts as were hardened the hearts of those before you. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length and severity to surah Bara'at. 
I have, however, forgotten it, with the exception of this which I remember out of it. If there were two valleys full of riches for the son of Adam, he would long for a third valley, and nothing would fill the stomach of the son of Adam but dust. And we used to recite a surah which resembled one of the surahs of Musabiat, and I have forgotten it. Abu Ubaid, Kitab Fada il al Quran Aisha, said, Surat al Ahzab, 33, used to be recited in the time of the Prophet with 200 verses. But when Uthman wrote out the codices, he was unable to procure more of it than there is in it today, 73 verses. Sunan Ibn Majah, 1944, it was narrated that Aisha said, the verse of stoning and of breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came in and ate it. So, one chapter of at least 129 verses is completely lost, and at least 127 verses of chapter 33 have been lost. Large parts of the Quran have been lost forever, and the Quran that Islam is preserving today is a partial copy of the original. And when you read Islamic sources explaining the early history of the Quran, it's not surprising that large amounts of it have been lost and that there were disagreements about the correctnesses of the texts. But here's something that I find quite astonishing. If I were to receive revelations from Allah to the extent of some 80,000 words, I would make very certain that they were written down with a backup copy in a few other places. And yes, I do understand that parchment was expensive and that you have to pay the scribes for their work. But look, if these are the words of Allah, Surely it's worth spending some money to make sure that they aren't lost? Because we can be certain that the people who memorize the verses will die. We can be fairly sure that human memories will fade and people will start to make small mistakes in the recitations and that there will be disagreements about exactly what is in the Quran. And that is exactly what has happened. And I also understand that Allah promised that his words would never change or be forgotten. So maybe that's why they weren't careful to preserve the Quran and why so much of it has been lost. <laughs> 